Greetings and welcome. My name is Alan Thorne. This short movie is associated with the book Pro Unity Game Development with C Sharp, published by A Press. And what I want to do here is to introduce you to the game that we're going to be creating throughout this book. The book covers the development of this game from beginning to end. You can see that game here loaded in the Unity editor. I have the level open here in front of me. And I've titled this game Crazy Mad Office Dude, and it's abbreviated to CMOD or CMOD for shortness. This essentially is the heart-wrenching tale of one man who has simply had enough of the 9 till 5 work life. That's right, his evil employer, Mr. Big Cheese, owes him money, owes him his salary, a lot of money indeed. And this guy, the player, he's resolved to claim back everything he's owed. Now this is a first person shooter game and there's a lot of it in, there's a lot of stuff involved. In fact, we're going to be going across many different chapters implementing all kinds of different features. Now the details of making all of this stuff in C Sharp is covered in a lot of detail throughout the book, but what I want to do here is to go through the project, examine some of the assets and show you this game up and running so that you can get a better idea of how this game is supposed to work. So, let's get started. So I have the project here open in Unity, and this project is the completed project. You can find this in the book companion files in the final chapter folder. And we're going to be working towards this project throughout the book. So we're going to start in chapter one with a completely new and empty project and work towards this. So let's take a look at the level that we have here. Now, initially, this seems perhaps a pretty simple level, but there's a lot going on here. Let me just maximize the scene viewport here so that we can see the level a bit better. Now, what do we have here? Well, for example, we have a range of enemy characters. We're going to take a look at those in just a bit, but we have these para objects, one here, one here, one here. These are cache para objects, and the objective of the player is to run around the level and collect these cash power up objects. So the objective of each level is for the player to get back the cash they are owed. And the way they do that is they just walk through these cash power up objects. And when all the cash power ups in the level are collected, then the level is completed and the player can move on to the next level. So the objective is for this player to collect all of these cash power up objects. But of course, their job in doing that is not so simple. They're going to have these enemy characters here that are going to make their lives quite difficult. So we have one enemy character here, which is the weakest of the enemy characters, another one here, which is slightly stronger, and another one here, which is the strongest of all the enemy types. And these are going to be wandering throughout the level. Now these are not just going to stand still, these are intelligent enemies, they're going to exhibit artificial intelligence, they're going to wander around the level, avoiding all the obstacles, and they're going to make decisions about what to do. So very often they're going to approach the player and try to attack them. And of course the player will have a number of weapons at their disposal to fight and attack these enemies. So I suggest that what we do is we give this game a test. So I'm going to jump back out of the scene viewport. I'm going to switch to the game tab. I'm going to maximize the view here so that we can see this better. Now already in this game tab, you can see that we've got this menu going on. It's not showing it quite the correct resolution just yet. We also have this health um, power up here, this health display and an ammo display. So let's get started at testing this game. So I'm just going to press the play button on the toolbar to begin playback of the game. You'll see that when I start playback, I'm going to have my health displayed over here and my ammo for the current weapon over here. The starting weapon is a fists weapon, so that's the default weapon. And it doesn't really have any ammo because fists, well, you can use them as much as you like. And this game, in its current configuration here, is actually pretty difficult. So I'm probably going to lose this game quite a few times. But let me just uh, press play and see how we go. So I'm going to press play here and straight away we're in the game. You can see at the bottom of the screen I have my fist weapon and I can attack this enemy who's coming to get me so I can just punch this guy here. You'll notice that he flickers red when he takes damage. I've got this power up moving up and down and notice that it's always aligned to the camera including the enemy. So wherever I move the enemies will rotate to face me. We've got this character coming to attack us here. Now he has a range attack, so he's quite dangerous. Actually, he's just killed me and I've fallen over. And again, we're back to the beginning of the level. Everything has respawned. So the objective is to collect these cash power-ups. So I'm just going to try and run around here, collect this burger power-up, which is a health restore, collect this other cash power-up here, 
and run around the corner here. We've got some more enemies around here dealing damage. This star power up here, which is now in the air, um, that's uh, a new weapon power up. So I'm going to get a new weapon when I collect that power up. So let's try and get that. So I'm going to run through here and now I've got a pistol weapon, which gives me some range attacks. So I've just dispatched that enemy and this one's pretty tough. Let's get rid of him. So I'm going to collect this cash power up here. You'll see in the top right hand side we've got ammo of two. So I have only two bullets left for this weapon. Let's collect this cash power up. Let's dispatch that enemy. Let's collect this one and this one and run in here. Grab this one. Let's collect this here, which again is a weapon power up. But I'm not going to change my weapon. Actually, I will do. I'm going to press the period symbol on the keyboard and change back to my gun now that I've got some more ammo. So again, here's another guy with a range attack. Let's just um, grab that guy there. Collect this cash power up. And I think actually we've done a pretty good job. I think I've eliminated all the enemies in the level. So let's grab this one and mission complete. There we are. I didn't think I was going to complete the game, but in fact I have. So there we go. One level completed. Now if I just exit this and go back into the game, you will see at the top center of the screen we have an options button. I can click that to display a menu. And what happens is the game will actually pause when I do this, so everything will freeze. I can click the cancel button to exit the menu and resume playback. But we also have the buttons here for loading and saving games. So we're going to be seeing how to do that as well. I can restart the level of course and I can click the exit button to exit the game. Now there's actually a lot going on here. We've got intelligent enemies, collectible weapons, collectible power-ups. We've got billboard functionality, load and save games. And really there's a lot here to do. And we're going to be implementing all of this in C Sharp throughout the book. So I really hope that you enjoy the book and uh, I look forward to going through it with you. So thank you for watching.